Okay, uh, hello my friend, hopefully that you are doing great. So in this lesson, I want to share with you um, about the changing uh, tutorial again. Um, this will be something, you know, simple again, not hard because uh, I just want to, you know, start step by step and then you can understand uh, bit by bit about the changing. And by the way, sorry for any background noise around because kids just around me all the time. So you can hear that <coughs> the sound from my son. You're trying to talk. Okay, so uh, we just know that for the Jenkins, uh, we have a model we call something like Jenkins, the master and slaves. We have a lot of slaves to scale up our build up project or something like that. But in this tutorial, we will assume first we will have just one one master for the Jenkins, okay? And then we will try to prepare the environment for the Jenkins executor and so on. Just go step by step. Uh, so let me try to open the Jenkins uh, real quick. So Java, uh, Java hyphen char, and then the what? The location for the Jenkins, right? The Jenkins, and then the Jenkins dot file. I hit enter. So by the fall when um, by the fall when you start if you start on the the park ADID like before okay, and I didn't mention to you about installation for the Java but I think you should know that to start the Jenkins on the environment you need to install the Java, but just in case you forgot or you don't know how to do it you just come here in my blocks and then you just symbol go to the java tutorial in the very first lesson you can see how to set up the environment with java JDK here for uh, windows and mac os so you can take a look okay it's very simple so now i think like the changing is now start All right let me try uh up yeah it should be this one Now login with the same username password uh, like from the previous lesson. Now we have everything here. So let's talk about the first thing that we need to prepare the environment for the Jenkins executor. What does that mean? So we already have the J, uh, Java JDK, of course, because if you don't have that, you cannot uh, stack up the Jenkins server, right? So we have Java JDK. Uh, and then after that, you should have good, is it kind of good to have, but it's not necessary to have that one, I mean the Maven. Because I'm going to share you how to, you know, install Maven from the Jenkins with the support from Jenkins. That means you don't need to install yourself uh, about the Maven, but it is something good to have. Okay. Uh, then we have Jenkins, uh, we have Java JDK already. So let's talk about the Maven. So now after you log in here, you don't see anything like this at the beginning time, right? So you click on the main uh, changing here, and then uh, you will click on the global configuration here. Just wait a moment. I don't know why my PC is too slow today. Maybe I need to restart it. Uh, so you scroll down, you see here the Maven. So after you click on the Maven uh, installation, I already set up it here. So just in case you already have the Maven on your machine, okay? So what you do that you need to input a name here. So the name should be any names. You don't need to do something like Maven here, but as a good practice, you just put Maven here and the Maven home here. But just in case you doesn't have the Maven on your machine, so it will be very easy. You click on install install automatically here and then you add the install installer here so you can like something like run from the self command or install from abg here uh, and then you just apply and save so you you don't care about the error or command line or something like that right now okay i will share you about that oh i don't know why uh the movie recording it just it just stopped here you see Okay, anyway, let me try to close it. So here, uh, let me see. Okay, after that, you create a new job. So you don't have anything like this. So you will have something like create a new job here at the, the, the very first time you log in into the Jenkins. But for me, I will click on the new item here. 
So under the new item, I just put something like changing uh, tutorial. And then I click to uh, select the freestyle project here and then I hit on the OK button. Simple, right? So after you hit on the OK button, it will navigate you to the configuration for that changing job. So in this case, you can see we have several tabs. On the top here, you can click and then if you try to scroll down you to the correct section like table of content, you see when you read some article or some blog, when you click on something, it will navigate you to the correct tipping. So the kind of table of content or something like that. So here is the description. You can put something very simple like changing a uh, tutorial job. You can put something like this is the regression, uh, regression. A uh, job for a uh, project uh, ABC. It's up to you, okay? It's just the description about what's the purpose for the changing job, okay? So the second thing you need to uh, know that the discard the OPU. So basically, when you <clears throat> discard the OPU, mean like how many views that, uh, history that you want to keep for this changing job. For example, if I come back here and I open any of the job here that I have, if I open something like the uh, this one. So you can see here from the number four here to the number 23, it's because in this Jenkins job, I just, you know, set up the, uh, the to keep the OBU around just 20, as I remember. So for the OBU history here, it will be just, you know, deleted from the workspace. So, it's up to you, but uh, for me, I just keep around uh, 20 view, right? And then after that, it just rotation to delete the, the, uh, the you know, the oldest one. Uh, and then we can left everything empty here, so cost management, okay, so you select it, okay? So when you select it, it will ask you the repository for for uh, for the the git repository so i already prepared here for you in just in case you don't have any repository you can use this repository okay so you just copy here at the main here you copy here go here copy you see as this pro block here and then change in tutorial here and then you copy and then what you need to do that you need to symbol to push it here okay so in case you put something like, you know, wrong or something like that, if you complain to you that, that repository doesn't exist, okay? So it's very intelligent, right? So in case the, that repository is existing, so everything's here, that means you don't see any error here. So what is for the credential? Credential is something like, you know, the we have the GitHub repository, we have the public and the private repository, right? So in that case, uh, just in case you have a private repository, so probably you need a credential as a username or password, but just keep it simple first. So this is a public repository, so you don't need any username or password to fetch the shortcut, okay? But I will share you uh, about how to set up credential to fetch a private repository later, okay? So the prints here, you pay attention, okay? You see the prints here? By the way, see, master but the changing job here is not a master at all right so in this case you need to change to man and don't try to delete this one okay so we have star slash here and then you keep it okay and then the man this is the uh prince that you want to press the shortcut so in the next lesson uh maybe we will have other branches and then we can try to replace, but try to remember that this is the branch that you want to fetch the short cost, okay? So the view trigger here, you can trigger by a time, but right now we just leave it as before we will try to trigger the job manually, okay? Uh, view environment uh, and here, so the view step, okay? We just put something very simple here. So at the view step, you pay attention. If you, your changing is on uh, Windows machine, you select the skill window space command, okay? If your changes just like me stuck on the Linux or Mac OS, you select the skill cell here, okay? So in this case, I will select this here, but if you are on Windows, you select this one, okay? So I click on skill cell here, 
And what I need to do is very simple. I will trigger a command here to trigger the test for me. So I copy it here and I paste it here. Before moving forward, let me try to explain for you the shortcuts here. So the shortcuts for this tutorial is very, very simple. So you can see here, uh, I just have a Maven project with just something like, you know, the dependency for, um, where is that engine? Okay, this is the that engine framework. This one we don't need in this lesson. I just put it there and yeah, that's it. Yeah. We, we, we just need the test ng framework here and some stuff like the surefire plugin to run the test ng test and then uh, something related to the alu report here but uh, you don't need to pay attention for that okay so you just need this one is a maven project and then we have a test ng framework right now because this tutorial is not going to focus on how to run how to set up an automation test project or something like that. We will focus 100% for the Jenkins only. So I just put some stuff here and we are using test ng here, okay? So here I just have a test and very simple here. I just asterisk task one equal one. And then I have what a uh, test choose here. And then I just run that class only, right? So now just come back here. I copy Maven clean test and then I provide the test route information, the test route location in this case, and then I run it. Simple, right? And then I just hit on the apply. And then I will save. Okay, so now go back to the main changing job here. If you hit view now, you will see something on the controller. Okay. Now this is the controller, and then you can see where uh, you can see something interesting. Okay, let me try to explain it for you. First, you can see here, it's cloned in the repository here. And then, uh, we can have something like, it checking the branch here. In this case, it's a, a main branch, right? And then, you can see, obviously here, it's executed the maven command, maven clean test, and then it's called, uh, it just executed the test route for us here in this case. Now it's uh, something related to the Maven. We try to fetch the dependency. If we don't have uh, any dependency in the bump round in our project in this environment, and then it just execute the test here. The test is now success. Okay. So this is the way we config a very simple, uh, you know, a very simple changing job for Maven project. And then you can see we we will try to do more, but I just want you to do very simple in uh, turn, you, you know, let me try to explain. Uh, so in one lesson, I just, I just want you to focus on one thing. Okay, no more, no less. Okay, so here what you do is start the Jenkins, go to the dashboard, go to many Jenkins, go to global tool configuration and make sure you config the Maven. So for the Maven, you have two options. If you have the Maven on your machine, you just need to point out where is the Maven home. If you don't have that, just click here, install automatically, and then you can select something like install from ABG, and this is the Maven version. Simple, right? The first thing. Second thing, like you come here, and then you click on a new item in my case, or you can click a link here at if you are on the Jenkins at the first time, open, and then you input the Jenkins job name, click for free style project here, then you will have something like this. After that, you need to configure your Jenkins job and you need to remember three things. Okay, not that one, sorry, it should be this one. You need to remember three things. So first thing is the description for this project. Second thing that you need to select discard all views because if you keep a lot of the view history on your machine, it will, you know, uh, take a lot of uh, memory on, 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 on your machine. So it's not a good practice, but it's up to you. I keep the view around 20 here. And then the third, uh, the third thing is very simple that you select the true cost management here. In this case, we select it. And then we provide a GitHub repository that I already prepared for you here. We don't need any credential because that repository is a public repository. Okay. 
Oh, actually, this is something very important here. We need to specify the branch that we need to fetch the code from that repository. In this case, I select the man, not the master anymore, okay? I remember GitHub several years ago, still master, but now it just changed to man, maybe from the last year. I just don't remember exactly the time, but it's now not master anymore. Then finally, you execute the cell, uh, the, the command here. So I just want to remind you again, if you're changing it, is on the Windows machine, you need to execute the Windows back command, okay? So if you are on Linux or in the Mac OS, you need to select the execute cell here, and then you specify the command here that I already prepared for you in the short code here. You go to the Jenkins tutorial, go to the Maven command here, and then you copy here. So it's very simple, Maven clean test, and then you just specify where is the test route from the test engine, right? Very simple, just do something like that, explore around, and then bye for now, see you in the next lesson, we will try to talk more about the Jenkins job, okay? Bye-bye.